ahead, Kyle. Tell me about your drive uh, here. This has been crazy. I'm actually kind of surprised they're like allowing cars back here. Yeah. Like the road is horrible. It's full of potholes. It, it, it's like it's all dug up, and so there's these like big pits, and your the cars like vibrating like, excessively at points. People are riding your tail. I, I oh my gosh, this has been wild so far. I will say though, like we're very close to Disney. It's only like 20 minutes away, but it definitely feels like a whole new, different world out here. Uh -huh. <laughs> You can like think of it oh like a God. chiropractic. Oh. Uh, pop your back and It's a ride in and of itself, just a party. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I wouldn't I don't know how people with cars are doing this. Like we have a truck. This is bad in a truck. Like, yeah. Oh my goodness. A lot of people here though. It's free parking. They don't take cash. So, okay. Support of the wise. everyone and welcome back to Wonderland Explorers. Today we're going outside for an adventure. We're doing what the locals here do in Florida as we've learned, blueberry picking. <laughs> yeah, today takes us to Southern Hill Farms. This is actually technically Claremont, Florida, yeah. but also just a sewn throw from Walt Disney World. Just 20 minutes away and I feel like we are definitely like not a building in sight. No, no. screamings of the roller coasters or horns or fireworks. It's I, like, it feels it's like so we drove quiet. hours to get here. Like, if the landscape changed, it's just all farmland out here. You can actually hear the crickets chirping in the background. I'm like, oh, this is like, where are we, Kyle? I know. But I'm so excited. Yeah. So come along with us as we explore. Go ahead, Shanae. Show the viewers this beautiful landscape, the dust bowl that seems to be existing behind you. I but... know, that's so crazy to see. Like, what is going on? But I love it. I mean, like, with the blue sky and the clouds, you can't believe it. That's like... Florida scenery, right? And then the green and the lush. I'm laughing at us so much because we have definitely become city-fied in the year that we've been here. So, like, oh, this grass is too tall. Oh, this is too quiet. Oh my gosh, there's not a building in sight. But it's absolutely beautiful. It feels well besides the dirt mounds of sand. But it just feels, as far as your eye can see, it's quiet, it's peaceful. Yeah. And where you enter just off the distance there is uh, Schofield Road. Yeah. And that's what we were talking about driving in. Like, it was just, like, it's under construction. crazy. Yeah. yeah, so it's a dirt road. Just keep that in mind. But overall, it really wasn't a bad drive. If you come to Florida, like, something can be literally, like, 10 minutes away, and then it takes you 20 minutes to get there just because you have to go around all of the bodies of water that we have here. But it is a pretty sight coming in, and I can't wait to go in there and see what this is all about. I was joking when I was telling you this is what Florida needs to do. No, yeah. I'm serious. Look at these crowds. It's, it's strawberry, busy. it's blueberry. Yep. And peach is supposed to be going on right now. Yep. Strawberry is out of season for right now, but just for the Floridians. I love the strawberry picking. I understand why. Yeah. And blueberry, because it's spring. Yeah. So, also right now, it's peach. Oh, you love peach. I love peach, love but peach. I love blueberry. But really, I like them on their own. Oh, the blueberry cobblers. pancakes. Ooh. I love their own. Oh, blueberry pancakes. Oh, there's so much. Like, all the sweet treats that you want to enjoy. Yeah. Oh, so, Kyle, how do you get here? So actually, yeah, it's really not that far. Kind of reminds yeah. me of the thing from the Californians. Have you ever watched SNL? But it's, it's like, yeah. take Paquette to Summer Lake Port Road, Summer Lake Port Road to Summer Lake Garden Road, Summer Lake Garden Road to Avalon Road. Mm -hmm. Then off Avalon, you'll turn on the Schofield Road and you'll hit Summer Hill Farms. <laughs> oh, <laughs> or Summer no. Southern Hill. <laughs> I can't even talk. I'm... Donuts, Kyle. Donuts. Oh, check out. Oh, peaches available. Oh, it gives you all April through May. So we must be in peaches. Oh, over here's all the blueberries. We just only have about 100 acres to explore. <laughs> I'll be curious. Oh, the sunflower field's going to be really pretty. There's a drink cart. So yeah, they have a little map here as you walk in. They even have a wedding barn. They have a beer shed. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. I didn't realize all this. Yeah. Oh, oh. played a fun and exciting day. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> The other side, they have some upcoming event information. Looks like you can actually scan here to see what's available at the farm today. 
you want to know what produce and fruits are offering, all their social media, lost and found. And here's a little calendar of events they have. So of course, Mother's Day, different closures, Memorial Day. It's kind of cool. This is neat. As you walk in from the parking lot over there, they have this little covering here. And then underneath, you can get a few sort of amenities to start off your day. They offer water, sunscreen, ponchos, sun hats. Of course, there's some sunflower clippings right there. They also offer wagon rentals. So these are $8 per wagon. They basically, they offer these if you're gonna get a lot of stuff. So if you're getting peaches, which are heavy, or blueberries or sunflowers, or even some things from the, uh, the store they have here, or if you have a little one that you just don't feel like carrying and you didn't bring the stroller. I think that's why they have these. <laughs> They've been really friendly here so far. And yeah. we were, and it's kind of like, this is the first time we've been at a farm since leaving Tennessee. Yeah, <laughs> like, I'm like, oh, I'm taking it all in. I'm really excited. Yeah. But they, they really, I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. They really do offer yeah. a lot. I mean, you got a flower field, you got vegetables, yeah. you got peaches, and you have blueberries. Yeah. And that's just what's in season right now. Right. And apparently they have music. You can already hear it. Yep. Like a kid zone. <gasps> yeah. Let's keep walking. Let's so, but, 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 but I was just going to say, like, they have, there's peaches over here. They did yeah. say it's kind of coming towards the ends of, of oh. peach season for them. And of course, blueberries just over here. And they also provide, I know some people, they provide you with the buckets and the baskets yeah. for the peaches and the blueberries. Very important. Right. Right. To the blueberry check in. And I'm like at a level 10 with excitement. I even wore blue today, yeah. you know, because I wanted to be like all blueberried <laughs> out. So let's go check it in. Let's get a little bucket and let's see what it does. So, you know, I was saying you can like scan and see what's at the farm today. Actually, it's very important because there's different types of blueberries. So in the uh, the link that they provide you, they'll describe all the blueberries that are on this map. So like, for example, the uh, the farthing or high-yielding sweet firm and crisp berry. And then uh, emerald is a semi-sweet berry with excellent firmness. Oh. Large berries that can be the size of a quarter. Wow. Oh. So yeah, it's kind of neat. So they'll tell you about the different types of blueberries they offer, and then obviously where they are. And she did say that there is a tractor that takes you from field to field. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, because it's huge. Like, yeah. This is this is minimizing how vast yeah. this actually is. And then up here it also tells you it's um, five dollars per pound, and your bucket holds approximately six pounds. Woo! And it closes at three p.m. on weekdays and four p.m. on weekends. Yeah. Oh, we got fresh picked blueberries for yeah. like five bucks a pound. That's not bad. It's not terrible. It's about the average of the market, yeah. like if you go to the farm. Well, at least you know where it came from. Yeah, that's, that's true. It. All right, my little blueberry. Yeah. I picked you a blueberry. That's a very pretty blueberry. <laughs> Which blueberry is this? I think it's a, uh, a sentinel. Okay. Ooh. That one's like tart. Yeah. And it has like a sweetness to it. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> this is fun so far. Yeah, that'd be a good cobbler one. Oh. Oh my God. You got your little bucket. Yeah. You're I all ready. I got a bucket. I got a bucket. I'm <laughs> so excited for this. <laughs> I am super excited. I see why they're into it. I'm already into it. It kind of like brings us back home. I know this reminds you of like apple picking because that was big in New York for you. And then for me, we didn't really have a lot of these like farms. Yeah. To go picking yourself. I wish we had them, and I'm really excited about this. All I guess, Kyle, right. what we could do is we could just mix them all together, and it would be like, you know, like jelly beans. You just pick a blueberry, and you don't know what you're going to get. It'll be a surprise. The forest gum, a blueberry picking. One, oh, yeah. I think that's over that way, but for right now, we'll uh, start here. Okay. What is it? The uh, hey, Arcadia's? Look, I got one blueberry. You got one blueberry. All right, let's see here. Let's find one. Let's see this one sort of. It's hiding right there. Oh boy, look at that. Oh, we got two blueberries. We got a long ways to go. <laughs> Three hours later. <laughs> oh, yeah, that That's a big good. one. Yeah. I've noticed that like people are picking all the, like the ones on the surface. They don't really dig into the bush a little bit. I know like if you go inside and you kind of look in the shady areas, I notice some of the berries are like a little bit bigger. Yeah. It's, That's delicious. Yeah. Those are really tasty. So what do you think overall of the experience? I know you're kind of like, oh, Sinead, what are we doing? No. Where are we going? Yeah. It's been, uh, this is just awesome. I've loved this so far. 
I really needed this. It's kind of nice to just be out in nature a little bit. Like, this is a this is a great weekend activity so far. It I think is. I think even if you're on vacation in, in like wherever you live, if you live in another another city and you really don't have access to stuff like this, like I can't believe it says it's 20 minutes from Disney. I don't think it was even that. No, it really is. It's probably like 10, 15 minutes tops, and you're here. So. Sometimes I know that like yeah. Disney can be overwhelming and yeah. a lot of personalities, especially like coming off of the stressful years that everybody's had. Yeah. And yeah. like sometimes you need a break. So this is definitely a fun family activity where you can come and just maybe like take a day or an afternoon away from the park For sure. and enjoy yourself. And you were saying how busy it is and it's certain it certainly is. But because of how big this this farm is, you, like you don't have people on top of you. Right. That's the other thing, and like for the first time in a long time, I've like, noticed that people have been very respectful. Like they'll like look and see that there's like a couple of folks down, a like row. A, a row, and they'll like, go to another one. So we haven't had people like crawling on top of us as we're picking blueberries either. So it's like it's just really nice. more than two now yeah. it's been a really like calming enjoyable it is. I, I think i've actually like i've gotten more relaxed since i've been here like i was <laughs> i was pretty amped up when we got here now i'm just like doo, 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 doo. Yeah. <laughs> like we've seen uh we've seen birds like building birds nests in these trees too and you can hear the music off in the distance yeah. it's just really relaxing Up next, we're gonna go on the farm wagon. This is really cute. So you just kind of get on in like Kyle's doing and it takes you on the blueberry field. Okay, we have procured our seats upon the wagon. Yeah. Now this has been so lovely so far. It is. Like my my uh, my stress and everything is just like plummeting. We've... I'm I'm so like zoned out right now. It's yeah. a, it's just so nice. Yeah. I love this. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, oh look at my thumb. I'm me too. Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> no, we'll have to also try out. It looks like they have some really good food. Yep. A little food trucks. Yeah. Which is always exciting too. And there's a really good singer here, like we've been saying, and there's snow cones, and there's I treats, say, this there's other vegetables and We've only just kind of scratched the surface so far. I know. The music that you can kind of probably hear playing, it's like just the guitar and it's simple, but it's very yeah. nice while you're picking blueberries. It keeps you like calm. Yeah, it's country music. It reminds me of home. Yeah. And we both kind of got sentimental to our parts of it. But anyway. And everybody that works here has been so friendly. So like, friendly, yes. very, very friendly. Yes. It, it's, it's kind of sad to say. That it's kind of lost nowadays, but you, but you can find these experiences where, where folks are just so awesome like this. Yeah. You just gotta make it, you know? And again, to date, like to this point, we haven't spent anything. Like, it's True. free to come here, it's free to park here. Yeah, just what you just, pick. Just whatever yeah. you pick, yeah. I mean, even if you didn't want to pick blueberries, it's hard. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we you definitely got to, like, like into yourself. the, oh, we're on the, we're on the movement. Yeah, okay. Let me well, show you. Right. Let me show you.
certainly think we got enough blueberries. Uh, it's hard because you have to like contain yourself. Yeah. He's like, ooh, blueberry, blueberry, blueberry. You have to you gotta eat all this. Yeah. But I know there's a lot of people out here that talk about making jams. And the more you're in the field, like the more creative you get. You definitely do. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that's a good idea. Make, make, make. Anyway, you have to check out before you go and do anything else. Yep. So that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna go check out our blueberries. And it looks like they like pack them to mark for you in like little containers. All right. So how much do you think we have there? Let's take a bet. Uh, All right, take two, your bets at home. Two? Two pounds? pounds? Yeah, probably. Two or three. I'm going to say one and three quarters pounds. So almost two. Almost two. I'm going to go two and a half. Two and a half? All right, two and a half. Pound and three quarters. Let's see what we got. All right, Shanae, what was the final damage? <laughs> 1.3 pounds. We were both off. <laughs> yeah, you were closer, so that means you have to buy the food. Yep. So that's how it works. works. Not really. How much did it come to? What was it? Like, uh, like six bucks? Yeah, yeah, not too bad. So oh, it's yeah. really cute, I'll show you. So they did put them in a little container. And so that's, we almost got the two pound one, but like, I don't even do the little logo. Yeah. That's smart. Just next to the checkout is actually the Southern Hill Market, which is sort of their general store. Inside there, they had different things from the community, such as locally made coffee. They had hand poured candles from here on the farm. They also sell other things like little remembrances of your time here, like stickers and t-shirts, as well as other items even outside. So it sort of pours out into where they have this communal seating area as well. It's just a really lovely place to come and check out. And definitely you can grab some fruit, get yourself a t-shirt, enjoy the rest of your time here. It, it, this is just so warm and welcoming, I love it. So we have decided to stop and get something to eat. I actually checked out the Southern Hill Sweet Stand, which is pretty much stocked with some very delicious items. If you're looking for something quick and refreshing, they have something very unique here, blueberry donuts. So where I grew up going to apple farms, of course there was plenty of cider donuts. Here they have blueberry donuts and those things look really, really good. And you can request them to be hot when you order them, which I think is just awesome. Plus you can get them a la mode, so they'll actually put ice cream on top of the blueberry donut as well. So there is tons of things that are very delicious that you can get yourself into while you're here. I actually picked up this drink that they make here called the David Hill. If you're an Arnold Palmer fan, this is their version. It's basically unsweet tea with a blueberry lemonade. It's uh, not too sweet. I was kind of worried. Oh, I got the little trains coming. I was kind of wondering if it would be too sweet, but it's actually, it's like, it's perfect. It's very refreshing. This is great for a hot day. So making our way into what they kind of have a little food court here. As you can see, they have the delicious blueberry muffins. They do have a blueberry call, but I'm gonna try that out. As well as cookies. And as you can see, blueberry lemonade. Oh my gosh, peach tea, ice cream, popsicles. Some other food options that they have is the Southern Hill Eatery, which it looks like it has a lot of the special things like nachos, cheeseburgers, fun little appetizers. And then they have the beer shed, kettle corn, Mexican street corn. And on the other side, there's a whole nother world of other fun foods that you can try out while you're here. I decided to stop here at the Southern Hill Eatery. And this is where they have the cheeseburgers. You can get them all kinds of fancy ways. I just kept it simple for today. It has a meal, comes with fries and a drink. I was looking around and it seemed like that was the number one getter for everybody here. So I had to try it out, see what it's like. And we found a nice spot to sit. There stands here. Oh, and yeah. You guys are wondering because it does get warm. And yeah. It cool you down. It's actually very pleasant. I just wanted to show you the inside of the burger. It is like on one of those potato buns, which is really like moist and nice. So both of these meals, it comes with like the cheeseburger, the fries, and whatever drink of your choice. It was ten dollars, so twenty all in all. Really, it's not a bad deal. Let's see what it tastes like. What's your thoughts? It's not bad. It's, really, it's tasty. Okay, compared to a Disney burger. Oh, it's better than that. There it's you better go. Than fast casual. Disney. Okay. And it's like so far the prices here have been very, very reasonable. Like the donuts were a dollar fifty. They're handmade and baked here. The drink that I got was like three dollars. 
Her meal was ten. Yeah, like ice cream was like two fifty. So like things are very reasonable for like really being at the back door of Disney. It's it really it, it, it's it's fantastic. You know, I could not leave without trying the blueberry cobbler, and it looks so good. You can actually see the real fresh blueberries in there. Ooh, yum yum. It's like a little different. It actually has like I know on there on the billboard it said it contains pineapple, but it's like big chunks of fresh pineapple with the blueberry, which makes it very fresh and tasty. Oh, that's a little Florida addition that I like. We have finished our food. We're starting to make our way over towards the sunflower field. And I came across this old truck. This is from the 60s. This is made by Studebaker. The model's called Champ, which I thought was kind of funny. I haven't really seen very many of these. <clears throat> you might find stuff from like International, some old farm trucks, but I can't quite say the last time I've seen a Studebaker champ. This is pretty neat. It looks like they found it. I found a, uh, a sticker over here that says Missouri at a safety inspection. That's crazy though. I always love seeing old trucks like this. We have found the sunflower fields and then in front of us you have to buy a flower field pass which is six dollars for 10 and older, $4, three through nine, kids under two are free. It does include one sunflower, but then if you pick any extra, you have to buy them. So $2 per sunflower, $1 per zinnia, wear your wristband all times. And then you have to have all of your fruit and vegetables paid for before you go out here. But it's a huge field. And then of course, right next to that, they have vegetables over here and then peaches are right in that little orchard right there in the distance. And then that's where we just came from. That's the uh, like the concession area and the market is just over there. And of course, more vegetables. It is just, it's a huge farm. It's a lot to do here. We were looking at it, unless you actually just want to go and have the experience of picking the sunflower, you're actually kind of better off just buying them like pre-picked. I saw them in the front. So you can have a couple of options. So if you don't, if you're kind of tired and you don't want to walk out there, you can still get sunflowers either. It is a little tired, I yeah. will say that for sure. Yeah, it's a big farm. So I think that's what we're probably going to do for today. We might just grab one on the way out, but I think we'll check out some peaches, though. Okay. All right, so we're all checked in. We have our box. It's $4 a pound for peaches. Have the handy-dandy peach guide pulled up here. We have three varieties to choose from. They use a flag system over here as well, so if you look around the base of the tree, the, uh, the little flag that's there will let you know what variety it is. So the three that we're looking at are the Florida Prince, which they're large with firm yellow melting flesh. These are excellent for eating fresh, freezing, or canning. Uh, orange flags are the Tropic Beauty. They're medium-sized, red-skinned, yellow-fleshed peaches that are soft and melting with excellent flavor. And then finally, the, the white ones are the medium-sized peaches with white melting flesh and a glowing red fuzz that covers the white skin, fully ripened to your pulp. It's aromatic, delicious, and fresh for eating. That's the Florida one. So we have three varieties. Right <sighs> That's a lot. All That's I hear lot. is peaches, 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 well, you peaches, 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 I oh, think yeah. a lot of the the beefier ones are sort of picked over. But if we walk over here, like I kind of see one like further up that's like pretty beefy. But like, go ahead and calm up there. Like, I'll get that, that please. That's like, <laughs> like a little poker, you know? Yeah, yeah. Kyle, I feel like this is a game of far and wall, though. Okay, we've been down this whole road. And from the tree that we saw where we couldn't reach them, there's not been a single peach. Oh, oh, okay. That looks really plump and delicious, doesn't it? We didn't even see a peach. It's just up there. So. It, oh my gosh, it's a dead peach. Oh, I'm so excited too. I was like, wait, where's that peach?
I'd say this has been a much more feral experience here. This 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 orchard's sort of like a free for all right now because no one's finding peaches. But we walked almost out to the parking lot, and these are probably the yeah. last trees in this entire orchard that still have peaches on it. So that's our haul. Yeah. Some need to ripen a little bit. Yeah. I'll take what I can get. Now all we have to do is walk a mile back from which we came to check out. Oh. Oh my goodness, they also have green bees. Like good runners too. Yeah. Like they're oh pretty man. decent sizes. This is them. They're like the kinds you like too. Yeah. Very cute. Look how pretty these are. This brings me back. Oh, I loved like fresh green beans. We used to can green beans, and I absolutely could eat like a whole jar on my own. Love them. I think we're gonna pick a few. I can't resist. Kyle's already at it. Yeah, you are a uh, you are what I would call a green bean connoisseur. Yes, I am. You love yourself some green beans. The way to my wife's heart is her green beans. <laughs> so she shall get some green beans today. I'm gonna butter up this experience real good. <laughs> It's going to be a great weekend for Kyle because I got green beans for it. <laughs> I'm about to pee my pants right now. Oh my God. All right, Farmer Kyle, what'd you pick? I think we got quite the haul going on here. So I yeah. got some uh, eggplants. Oh yeah, you did. And then, uh, of course, we got some green beans and we got some peaches. Hey, we'll have to do a video on eggplant farm. Yeah, you can cook up some Italian food for okay. everyone. Yeah, yeah, it's like, it's. I love eggplant. It's yeah. really good for you, too. I wonder if it's going to be even better since it's grown here in Florida. Oh, very good point. Ooh. <laughs> well, I think we had quite a haul for today. Yes, we did. So we just got this whole tray. Peaches, green beans, as I was showing you. Eggplants, $13. Not so bad. No, Not so and bad. then, of course, blueberries from blueberries. earlier. Blueberries. I think that's my favorite day. part. I love blue. I love the whole thing. Yeah. We've been here for a very long time. Too. It's been hours. Yeah, like, three, four hours. We have wasted our day away here, yeah. and I love it because we used to garden like mm -hmm. growing up, and then as you get older, you know the time, and then now for us it's space. Yeah. So it's kind of like you have your own garden. You just don't have to do all the work. You just right. go and pick it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they are ending their season here pretty soon. So yeah. if you guys liked the video and you're like, hey, let's go check out Southern Hill Farm, go on their website and just see where they're, you know, where they're at with their seasons and if they're open yeah. before you plan a trip out here. Because I think it closes at the end of May yep. and then it reopens in September. September, but I don't know what that next season will be. Yeah, I think there's so, going to be like pumpkins and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, they're already growing watermelon. Very fun. And uh, we were we'll talking. Have to come sooner. Yeah. Next year. We we spoke with one of the uh, the workers here, and they yeah. were saying that in the fall they do like a fall festival too. Yeah, with the pumpkin. Yeah, with yeah. The pumpkins, and they look like they have little fire so cool. pits because you know it gets so cold here in Florida at times. <laughs> those two days out of the year we're yeah. prepared and so i can't wait I, I would love to come back and check it out yeah this was just such a fun day i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did like the video make sure to hit like and subscribe and as always till, till next, next time, time friends, friends. Bye. bye okay big question should i wear tennis shoes or sandals look at my feet they are absolutely disgusting <laughs> i would suggest tennis shoes